right, here is the ridge beam. It's uh, up. Well, it's, it's up for the moment. Got it braced that way. And it's another brace going up diagonally to the other beam where the ridge goes up. So we braced it, got the, uh, the posts plumb in both directions. And now we're going to start putting the rafters on, I assume. But I've got my friend Greg here helping. I don't think I could have done this without him. This is very difficult. Definitely at least a two-person job. Alright, here are the rafters or roof joists or whatever you want to call them. These are the guys that sit on, on uh, that make up your roof. Plywood sits on top of that and your shingles sit on top of those. And I've got almost all of them cut. I've got one one to go here. I just wanted to show you um, how I am cutting these and what the the anatomy of them is. Um, so you'll see one of them is already up. So what I did is I measured, well I calculated what the measurement should be. Uh, and then I went off of that and I uh, got this piece of wood that I kept hacking up because um, my calculations for, were for a perfect world with a perfect structure and this is not one of those um, so and then I started doubting myself maybe it's not the right angle blah 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 anyway um, eventually came up with a with a master that actually worked um, and that's what all these are based off of so you'll see the cuts here. Here's the so there's the the cut for the ridge, and so that's at the angle that you want. So yeah, from from this angle right here is your angle of your your roof um, that you're going to want. For mine it was 37 degrees. Um, it's close to a 10 and 12 pitch, um, but not quite. It's probably somewhere in between. And so that's for the ridge. And you go back down here. And there is a cut for the bird's mouth. And you'll notice the bird's mouth is, so this line right here is the same angle as your ridge cut over there, or your plum cut, as some people call it. So you've got your, your plum cut here, which when this rafter is up on the roof, it will be plum, you know, straight up and down. And um, this cut over here is the seat cut because it's the it's the seat of the bird's mouth. That's where this thing sits. Uh, so this this part right here is going to sit on top of your wall. And I did mine for two and a half inches um, just because that that's like the uh, leaves this much of the board, which is roughly following the two thirds rule of cutting bird's mouths. And this is a right angle because your wall is a right angle. So since this is your plumb line, you just take a, a framing square or something that's square, um, something with uh, measurements that can show you that this is going to be the, the desired uh, length you want on your seat cut, and then you just make a right angle. And over here is the overhang, and that is also a, a, a plumb line. So when this rafter is sitting up there, this will be straight up and down that cut will be straight up and down and all the way down there will be straight up and down up at the ridge so that is the anatomy of um, my rafter to figure out exactly where you need to cut this um, you need to do some calculations um, and then trial and error <laughs> I did more trial and error than calculations but my calculations were close I was just a little bit off um, anyways so I've got one of those up, got one of these left to cut, and I've got all these that are already cut and ready to go up. So then I just nail them up there on my ridge beam and tack them down over there for now. I'll be putting hurricane ties on there too. So that's, uh, that's the update for the, the ridge rafters, or the rafters for the roof. Now we have the rafters put up in place, all the bird knots cut out, and we've got the fascia board there on the end. Um, 
So the way that I did this, and I had a friend helping, definitely couldn't have done this. Um, it's very hard to do this by yourself. Uh, so at least have two people do this, because if you got some structure this big, it's very difficult to get those rafters up there in the right spots. Um, but just cut everything on the on the lines. Then after I wasted a bunch of wood, see that wood over there? That's wood that I wasted because I was a little cut happy. And if you look inside the shed, there's some more wood that was wasted. So make sure you get your measurements right because uh, I had the measurements for the right side over here. And so I thought, oh, it should be symmetrical over here, but it was slightly different. And so the rafters that worked over here did not work over here. So I had to redo all the cuts for those. That was annoying, but I learned a valuable lesson. Anyway, uh, so all those rafters are up there, um, nailed in at the top, and they're kind of they're toe nailed in on the where they meet the wall. Uh, just just for right now, they'll have hurricane ties, and then they're nailed into the uh, the fascia board here, which spans the whole length. That's 14 feet, and I'm going to be using the this rafter over here as the the base to put the uh, the the trim for the fascia. Uh, so that's good. Take a look around here. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, found out that if the tops are a little high, that's okay because you can you can knock those down. But if they're a little low, then that's bad. So. The, uh, and what I mean by the tops, like right up there where they meet the, the ridge board, the ridge beam. Um, so get those a little higher than a little lower and you should be okay. And when we put the fascia on, um, that was also, you know, all of these boards weren't exactly in the right spot. So we uh, uh, marked a chalk line across all the rafters, then cut them straight up so they'd all be um, well, I used a level to, to make the line plumb and, uh, and then cut those to the right length so then we have a straight fascia board there and a straight fascia board there. Lovely. Uh, what else am I going to do? I need to put glue up at the top where the rafters meet the ridge beam because uh, there's, probably can't see it here, there's a little gap. Because uh, I couldn't get it perfect. I wanted to get it perfect, but I couldn't. So glue will suffice to uh, to handle handle the gap. So what I'm going to work on now is back up. You'll see this, you know, triangle here. Well, there needs to be a wall. You know, the wall needs to keep going up until the roof. So I'm going to put the uh, the beams or the uh, the studs that go up and, and complete that triangle so then you can put, uh, what's that stuff called? Sheathing on the sides. So that's what's going on right now, so I'm going to work on that and then I'm hoping to get some sheathing up on the roof. That'll be exciting. Roof will be almost, well, roof will be well underway to being done. <laughs> 